Earth's magnetic north just changed. In fact, it's changed so drastically that scientists have had to create a new update for Earth's magnetic model. Magnetic north affects many things, most notably navigation. So how is this change going to affect our planet and the inhabitants? Well, I'm going to tell you in just a second, but spoiler alert, it could be problematic. Welcome back to Inform Overload where we give you news updates on the most interesting news stories we find on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Hit that like and subscribe for news updates that you'll actually click on, hosted by people you might actually want to be friends with. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Alright, so hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Magnetic North has just undergone a drastic change. You know those things called compasses? Yeah, they used to be wooden and kind of, they look like a clock and it says north, south, east, west on them. Yeah, so now everybody has a compass on their phone and the direction that those point north in has changed. Here's what that means. Earth's magnetic north is one of three north poles on Earth. True north is the northern point of the Earth's axis. This is the point that our planet turns on. Earth's magnetosphere is not completely lined up with true north. Magnetic north is defined as the point at which magnetic field lines point vertically down. It's most notably used for navigation. Magnetic north is where our compasses point. Problem is magnetic north is a fickle friend and it can change. And it just has. The thing that determines magnetic north is Earth's liquid iron outer core. Earth's magnetic north has actually changed before. Every year it moves by an average of 30 miles. But over the last few years, scientists have noticed that magnetic north has shifted into quote, high gear and it's galloping across the northern hemisphere. No one really knows why this is happening, but the changes are extremely large. The changes are so substantial that scientists were working on an emergency update of the world magnetic model, which is the mathematical system that lays out the basics for navigation which is used by cell phones and ships and airplanes. Our cell phones use magnetic north for things like Google Maps. However, the US government shutdown resulted in the new model's official release to be delayed. It's been officially updated as of February 4th and it turns out magnetic north has shifted from over Nunavut, Canada towards Siberia. That is right, magnetic north has moved toward Russia. Though it has not adopted a Russian accent yet. Since magnetic north was first measured in the Canadian Arctic in 1831, it's moved around 1400 miles or 2300 kilometers. The average person might not have noticed that the magnetic north has just changed, but the change especially affects American, Canadian, and European militaries who use navigation systems. In fact, they rely on navigation systems quite heavily. It also affects commercial airlines. Thankfully, GPS isn't affected because it's satellite based. It's not reliant on magnetic north. NASA, however, and the federal Aviation Administration as well as the US Forest Service also use this technology for surveying and mapping as well as satellite and antenna tracking and air traffic management. According to geomagneticist Arnaud Chouliat, the fact that the pole is going fast means this region is more prone to large errors. Thankfully people that reside at lower latitudes will be less affected by this change. You're going to really notice the changes if you live near the Arctic. Earth's magnetic north is very sensitive and is subject to change. In fact, Earth's magnetic poles have actually switched before. The last time it happened was 780,000 years ago. This process is called geomagnetic reversal. Could this recent change in magnetic north mean that the magnetic poles could be flipping? Well, maybe not. If the magnetic poles do flip, it will take 1,000 years or more. So, phew. It's difficult to say how this change in magnetic north will affect us, but we will keep you updated on the story if anything interesting comes to light. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video by responding to some comments from our video, Cure for Cancer coming next year. Kawaii Anime said, swear to god never click so fast. As you should. RTG said governments won't allow it because they will lose too much money from chemotherapy. I mean that is true, but I hope that that's not what will happen. Alicia Mendez said, a cure for PTSD would be nice. One thing at a time, Alicia. Josie Roman said, what about Ligma? There will never be a cure for Ligma, so get used to having it, okay, Josie Roman? Joel Angel said, this is so good, I like that Johnny is back. I thought the polar vortex ate him. Very nearly, the polar vortex almost cost me my toes. The video is over, click this playlist to keep watching IO, and make sure you like, sub, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.